Hi. What I've got here is a variant of the Raza init project, but this project is implemented to use slots to store information over a long period of time. The idea here is that as a user, you can tell the assistant to ask you anything, and then the virtual assistant would be able to ask you, what's your t-shirt size? As a user, you might be able to say something like, well, it's small. But the whole point of this assistant is that if at some point way later in the conversation you were to ask, hey, repeat my shirt size, the assistant would be able to remember what you said earlier. And in this case, it would be able to say, hey, you have a small t-shirt size. If you want to store information over a long period of time, then in Raza, you're going to want to use these things called slots. You could look at these as the long-term memory of your assistant. And the idea is that you can configure the assistant to store information here such that it can be retrieved later, either by custom actions or by specific responses. So let's show you how you can implement a very basic slot mechanic inside of this assistant. The first thing that I'll need to do is add some examples to my nlu.yaml file. And I've added them at the bottom over here. I've added a intent called ask me anything. This will trigger the assistant to ask about the t-shirt size. I've also added a intent where the user can declare that the assistant should mention the t-shirt size. And I also have this intent where the user is giving the t-shirt size. The main thing that's important here in this intent in particular is the fact that there are also some entities mentioned here. It's relatively simple. There's only a large, medium, and small t-shirt size in here. But it is important to point out that the entity that I'm detecting is called shirt underscore size. Next, what I've done is I've also made some changes to my domain.yaml file. And in particular, I've made sure that some intents are added to this list. But I've also made sure that the entities are defined over here. There is now a shirt size entity that the domain.yaml file is aware of. Also, I've added a slot. And this is where the long-term storing behavior is defined. The slot is called shirt size, and it's defined to be of type text. The slot definition also includes this mapping over here. And that's going to tell the slot how to fetch the information. In this particular case, you can confirm that the mapping actually comes from an entity. And to be specific, it comes from this shirt size entity over here. And that means that every time that we detect a shirt size entity, we are going to store it in this slot. And that also means that we can fetch it later in the conversation. This isn't the only thing that I've defined, though. I also added some responses so that we can actually ask the user about their shirt size. And I've also added a custom action that is going to fetch the slot value on our behalf. Given that we have everything in our domain.yaml file, next up, we got to make sure that there are some stories that use all of these intents and entities. So I've added a couple of stories like this one. This story starts by greeting and greeting back. And then I ask the assistant, hey, could you repeat the shirt size? After that, we are triggering this custom action over here. And this custom action is implemented in such a way that if there's no slot set, we will notify the user that something is missing. If we ever see the ask me anything intent, then we are going to ask the user for their shirt size. The user might then give their shirt size. And what you can also see is that first, the entity is detected. And immediately afterwards, the slot value is set. Now, the reason that this slot is set immediately afterwards is related to the fact that we've got our slot mappings defined. After that, we tell the user that we will remember their shirt size. And if now we ask again to repeat the shirt size, this custom action should be able to look inside of this slot value. Now, one thing we do need to make sure of at this point is that we also configure a entity extractor inside of our pipeline because otherwise we would not be able to fetch the entities. Lucky for us, we have a diet classifier in our pipeline, which is able to detect these entities. But in general, I do advise double checking if you have an entity extraction tool ready, if you're going to rely on it in this pipeline. A final thing also is that I have this custom action that I'm using. 
The name of the custom action is action, say, shirt size. And the main thing that it does is it fetches a slot value. And if that slot value is none, meaning it's not set, then we can tell the user, hey, I don't know your shirt size. If the slot value actually is set, then we dispatch another message, and then we're telling the user that the shirt size is known, and we're telling the user what it is. I've configured all the separate parts that implement the behavior that I'm interested in. So what I will do now is just start a quick Raza shell for a demo. I'm about to run Raza shell, but before I do, it is good to remind myself that I do need to run the action server which also means that I need to add a configuration in my endpoints.yaml file. But given that this is now running, I could now run my Raza shell. And the shell is now started. If I now ask the assistant, what is my shirt size? Then the assistant will tell me that it doesn't know it. That's because there's no slot set. If I go back to my custom actions, that we can confirm that it's indeed uttering this message. I could now say, hey, ask me anything, which prompts the assistant to ask for my t-shirt size. I could say small now. And if I were now to ask what is my shirt size, it seems to properly remember it. Note that I could now say something like, my shirt size is medium. And in this case, I've just said something where the entity actually properly got detected, which also means that the slot should now have been reset. And that means that if I were now to ask, what is my shirt size? It now says medium. So there you have it. We're able to use slot values to store information on the long term inside of Raza.